Fulton County District Attorney Fani Willis is reacting to a Georgia Senate hearing with the attorney wanting her kicked off of the 2020 election case testified for hours. And it's important to point out here that this Senate hearing is completely separate from what's happening in the courtroom and has zero impact on the case itself. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn joining us to break down what happened today. Yeah, a lot of eyes are on this tonight. And just to reiterate what you guys said, the Senate committee has no power to disqualify the DA from prosecuting the election interference case, but they are looking at any misuse of state funds or using one's power for personal gain. Attorney Ashley Merchant was subpoenaed by the committee. She testified for more than three hours on Wednesday morning. A lot of topics were covered, including how the special purpose grand jury that investigated the Georgia Trump case was formed. And of course, the DA's relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Billing receipts were also brought up, putting into question how Wade came up with his invoices, which were approved to be paid by the DA's office. It all goes back to when Willis and Wade started the relationship. Merchant claims the DA shouldn't have been able to hire Wade a special counsel because of county policies that prevent it due to the relationship. And Merchant claims the DA benefited from appointing Wade by trips the two went on that she claims he paid for. There was a cruise to the Bahamas. I got through a travel agency. There was a trip to Aruba that I got through at the travel agency. And then there was another cruise, um, I think that one's to the Bahamas also, that I got through a different travel agency. And then his credit cards are the ones that showed all the Belize trips. And they showed that he was buying the tickets for both himself and Miss Willis. Oh, yes. Now, in their own testimony, under oath and in a courtroom, both the DA and Wade have denied those allegations. This is how the DA responded to today's Republican-led Senate committee hearing. Um, I think it's all just a political quest. I think that people are angry because I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to stand up um, for justice, no matter who is the person that... Um, may have done wrong in Fulton County, and so they can continue on with their games, and I'm going to continue to do the work of the people. We're waiting to see if that committee will subpoena the DA. When asked if she would testify in front of them, she said she will consult with her lawyer. Now, as far as the judge's ruling on a motion to disqualify the DA from the 2020 election case, he said last week he would make a decision on the motion within two weeks.